And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis 4 redundant computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20. 15, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on a nine-day mission to deploy the Tedris communication satellite. This Atlantis mobile program. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston's now controlling. Maneuver complete, rolling Atlantis and crew heads down and on the proper heading. Engines at 104%. Engine throttling back now to 81 percent. Engine throttling down and holding well. All systems performing well. Atlantis accelerating through the dense lower altitudes. Altitude now 18,000 feet. Velocity 1,000 feet per second. Atlantis beginning to approach the region of maximum dynamic pressure. Engines throttling down now to 67 percent. Three engines at 67. And three engines throttling up. Hey, Lannis, go ahead, throttle up. Roger, go ahead, throttle up. Three engines now running at 104 percent rated thrust. All systems performing well. Good hydraulics, good electrical systems. Altitude now 68,000 feet, velocity 2,500 feet per second. Atlantis now nine nautical miles downrange. Time one minute, 35 seconds. Atlantis, comm check on UHF. Loud and clear. Flight controllers watching for solid rocket booster burnout. Time, 1 minute, 56 seconds. Chamber pressure tailing off now. And we have a clean separation confirmed on time. Second stage guidance now in effect. Flight controllers assessing first stage performance. Atlantis, performance nominal. Performance nominal. First stage performance of the main engines and boosters was good. All systems performing well. Altitude now 200,000 feet. Velocity 4,800 feet per second. Downrange distance 50 nautical miles. Time, three minutes, five seconds. All systems performing well, good electrical systems, good hydraulics. Three engines holding well at 104%. Atlantis, two-engine Ben Guerrier. Two-engine Ben Guerrier, Sox, thanks. Atlantis could now make a transoceanic abort landing with only two engines should one fail. Three engines performing well at 104%. Altitude now 275,000 feet, relative velocity 6,000 feet per second, downrange distance 95 nautical miles. Atlantis, negative return. Negative return. A return to the launch site at this point is no longer an option as Atlantis continues downrange. Downrange distance now 125 nautical miles, altitude 312,000 feet, velocity 7,200 feet per second. Any abort at this point would call for a transatlantic landing. All systems continuing to perform very well. 
Atlantis gaining momentum and downrange distance. Downrange now 153 nautical miles. Velocity 7,800 feet per second. Time, 4 minutes, 47 seconds. All systems performing well. Altitude now 342,000 feet. Downrange distance 191 nautical miles. Atlantis, press to ATO. Select Banjul. Press to ATO. Select Banjul. Atlantis continuing to gain momentum, now has enough momentum to reach a safe orbit should one engine fail. Three engines continuing to perform well at 104% rated thrust, good hydraulics, good electrical systems. Altitude now 355,000 feet, downrange distance 255 nautical miles. Atlantis, Troop Banjul 109. Troop Banjul 109. Atlantis, press to Miko. Press to Miko. Traveling at 12,000 feet per second, Atlantis now has enough momentum to make a normal insertion to orbit with only two engines. Should one fail, three engines continuing to hold very steady at 104% rated thrust. Atlantis uh, traveling at uh, half the velocity required to uh, insert into orbit. Atlantis, single engine band jewel, 104. Single engine banjo 104. Should two engines fail beyond this point, Atlantis could still reach a safe orbit with a remaining engine at 104%. All systems continuing to perform well. Three engines at 104. Altitude now 358,000 feet. Velocity 14,000 feet per second. Downrange distance 375 nautical miles. Atlantis, single engine press, 104. Single engine press, 104. Time, 7 minutes, 13 seconds. Atlantis and crew continuing to make a clean ascent. Altitude now 353,000 feet. Downrange distance 518 nautical miles. Atlantis' trajectory leveling off now, reaching down range and gathering uh, momentum for orbital insertion. Velocity now at 19,000 feet per second. And we have main engine throttling back now to maintain 3G structural limitations on the vehicle. We're now less than one minute to main engine cutoff. Engines uh, easing back now to 92%. Inertial velocity now at 23,000 feet per second. Time, 8 minutes, 5 seconds. Main engine cutoff expected at 8 minutes, 28 seconds. Main engine's continuing to ease back, now at 78%. All systems performing well. Atlantis or Miko at 25 9. Miko confirm. Roger. Main engines have been uh, turned off. Atlantis. Atlantis is in gliding flight, and we have uh, confirmation of separation from the external tank. So Atlantis now uh, gliding free and clear. 870 nautical miles downrange from the launch site. Ohms 1 not required. Roger, Ohms 1 not required. Powered phase of uh, this climb to orbit was sufficient to make the uh, 
insertion targets of 157 by 35 nautical miles. No additional uh, boosting will be required other than the nominal OMS-2, which will use the orbital maneuvering system engines to circularize the orbit at 160 nautical miles. No anomalies to report on the ascent. Everything went very cleanly and, and by the book. Atlantis continuing downrange now at uh, 1,050 nautical miles. Altitude now 64 nautical miles. Atlantis will continue in about halfway around its first circuit of the or Earth. Uh, the orbital maneuvering system engines will be fired while at uh, orbital apogee that targeted at 156 nautical miles to raise the orbit of the vehicle to 160 by 160. from Atlantis. Will be, we be go for AP shutdown on time? Atlantis, we'd like you to hold on APU shutdown. We want to check the water spray boilers. Okay, we'll hold until you call us on AP shutdown. That's correct. Do we have a go for the ETD? Are we just going to wave that off then? Atlantis, you got to go for the ET photo DTO. Houston. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to clarify there's no problem with the boilers. We just want to wait a little bit longer to watch them work. Okay. Crew being asked to hold off on uh, powering down the auxiliary power units. Those units provide uh, hydraulic pressurization of mechanical systems on board, and while those systems are no longer needed, uh, flight controllers are looking for the opportunity to take just a little more operations data on the water spray boilers, uh, just for the sake of having that data. Uh, crew will leave the APUs on until called. Main propulsion system uh, vacuum is in process at this point. That's uh, a matter of... Uh, evacuating all the lines of the main propulsion system which will no longer be used throughout the remainder of the flight uh, of any residual uh, fuel or oxidizer that may be in those lines. It's a matter of opening valves and allowing the vacuum uh, around the vehicle to draw the uh, residuals out. And here's to inform Atlantis, we got an APU temp uh, light. Roger. Like the out temp and the in temp on APU 2 are going up here soon. Okay, we're talking about it. Let's switch. Atlantis, we'd like you to take boiler controller heater 2 to Bravo. Okay, Sox, that's complete. Indications are that the uh, primary controller on one of the water spray boilers did not uh, uh, start the cycle at a certain temperature excursion. Uh, crew was asked to go ahead and select the uh, alternate controller. Flight controllers were waiting to watch and see if that uh, primary controller would cycle uh, once it reached the upper uh, temperature level.
Head Linus, we'd like you to go ahead and shut down all three APUs. Okay, Fox APU shut down and work. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, water spray boilers referred to are used to uh, cool orbiter systems in this uh, phase of flight. At, uh, the water spray boilers uh, would, uh, after powered phase of uh, ascent, be cooling down the auxiliary power units. Flight controllers saw temperatures on auxiliary power unit number two beginning to rise. And when they rose at the point at which the controller for that water spray boiler should have turned that boiler on and began uh, cooling the system, uh, it did not do so. Uh, the crew was asked to go ahead and select the uh, backup controller. They did so. And uh, at this point, uh, the crew should be in the process of powering all three of the auxiliary power units off. Those units were left on uh, just a little bit longer than normal in order to uh, gain some additional data for uh, flight controller uh, analysis and for uh, further information in uh, determining the uh, operational capabilities of those units. Environmental control officer reports that the flash evaporator system is up and working well, providing cooling to orbiter systems at this point. FES will handle the uh, uh, heat dissipation responsibilities for all the orbiter systems until the payload bay doors are open and the radiators are activated. Uh, the radiators perform all of the thermal control and uh, heat dissipation throughout the on-orbit phase. Again, we had a nominal ascent. The main engines and solid rocket boosters doing their job, placing Atlantis exactly where we'd like to see it. As uh, Atlantis makes uh, one half of a turn around the Earth, they'll be firing the orbital maneuvering system engines to raise the orbit to both apogee and perigee to 160 nautical miles. That burn coming up in about 22 and a half minutes. Bakes, you got to go for that. And be advised you'll be nominal for the OMS-2 targets. And we observed no cooling on APU-2 uh, before shutdown, even on the alternate controller. Okay, Sox, copy that.